Good afternoon and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. Now, in the backdrop of the controversy surrounding ADGPP Ravindranath, more embarrassing details have emerged. P. Ravindranath, who has been crying foul ever since the incident, has grabbed lie headlines, has sharpened he has his attack his... against Police Commissioner Raghavendra his... Auratkar, claiming the latter is targeting him over a long drawn rivalry. Now, P. Ravindranath claims that when he was appointed as the SP of Gulbarga, he noticed misappropriation in certain funds allotted to the department. Following the protocol, he reportedly told Raghavendra Auradkar, who was a DIG then. Ravindranath is of the opinion that Auradkar took offence to a junior, pointing out the discrepancy. Following this incident, Ravindranath also claimed that he was at one point in time interrogated following the encounter killing of Naxal Sakit Raju. Now, Auradkar apparently grilled Ravindranath over his connections in Andhra Pradesh, allegedly suspecting him to be a Naxal sympathizer. In fact, uh, if you have missed what happened, let's take a look once more. All this happened at the commissioner's office. He has to arrest him. He has to arrest him. Case is registered. Call the IO. Call the IO. Direct IO. Direct IO to arrest. Direct IO to arrest. All this happened in front of the commissioner's office. You can clearly see uh, P. Ravindranath uh, ordering uh, the commissioner to arrest him and to call the, the I.O., the investigation, investigative officer. You can also see there additional commissioner, law and order, Kamal Pant, uh, trying to stop him. And sometimes you'll see him there. And uh, when Auradkar does not stop, you can see uh, Ravindranath actually following him. He calls for his car. And then tells the driver to follow the other car. In fact, let's now listen into what uh, Home Minister KJ George as well as uh, Bangalore City Police Commissioner Raghavendra Radkar had to say about this. It was an unfortunate incident, but all of them, they are not KSRP police. There was a public who was there, bystanders were there, relatives of the police people or persons were there. That's why whoever involved the policeman, we will take disciplinary action against them. And what about this case? See, the case is now handed out to the uh, CID because that the, we are awaiting the CID report. After getting the report, we will take action. He is a good officer. He himself voluntarily has resigned now. He ordered he has to be arrested. I told him we cannot arrest like that. We have to investigate the matter. We will take his views also. We will take the complaint against uh, uh, the whom they have filed against him. That, uh, that views also we will take. That investigation will take proper entire aspects. They will. Uh, look into the, uh, the so and they take action. Yes, he has submitted a resignation to the DGP. DGP will send it to the DPR. Ultimately, the Chief Minister has to take a decision on his resignation. <laughs> 
ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅವರು ದಾಖಲು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಈಗ ಸಿ ಐ ಡಿಗೆ ತನಿಖೆ ವಹಿಸಲಾಗಿದೆ ಅವರು ಅದು ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದಲ್ಲಿ ತನಿಖೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕ್ರಮ ಕೈಗೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸಬ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವರು ಏನೂ ದಾ ಇವರಿಗೆ ಲಾಕಪ್ಗೆ ಹಾಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಸ್ವಂತ ಲಾಕಪ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಸಬ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟರ್ದು ವರ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಆ ವರ್ಷನ್ ನನಗೆ ಬಂದ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ವಿಳಂಬ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರಂದರೆ ಆ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇನೆಂಟ್ ಯುವತಿಯರೇನಿದ್ರು ಅವರು ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಈ ಘಟನೆ ನಡೆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಹಿರಿಯ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಹೆದರ್ಕೊಂಡು ವಾಪಸ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಸಾಯಂಕಾಲ ಬಂದು ನಾವು ದೂರು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಅಂತ ಅವರ ಎಫ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ದಲ್ಲೇ ಇದು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ವಿಧಾನಸೌಧದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೆ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ದಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೆ ನನಗೆ ಅದ್ರ ವಿಷಯ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದ್ದೆ ಒಂದು ಹದಿನೈದು ಸುಮಾರಿಗೆ ದೂರವಾಣಿ ಮೂಲಕ ಮತ್ತು ಅದೇ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿರಿಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಸದ ಅವತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅದು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀನಿ ವಿಷಯ ಸೊ ಆ ನಂತರ ಪೂರ್ಣ ವಿಷಯ ಡಿ ಜಿ ಅವರ ಸಮ್ಮುಖದಲ್ಲೇ ನಡೆದಿದೆ ನನ್ನ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಯಾವ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಮಾತನಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ from the CID and then only action will be taken. Furthermore, Bangalore City Police Commissioner Raghavandra Aurakar also spoke there stating that uh, he had nothing to do with this and that uh, while all this happened, he was in a meeting in the Vidhan Sauda. While all this was happening, the governor has now asked the chief minister to take up the issue of the cops squabbling in public immediately. Now, the governor has said that the manner of behavior of the cops is sending a wrong message to the people of the state. In fact, uh, considering what's happening between two very senior IPS officers in the state of Karnataka, The governor has now stepped in. He has asked the chief minister to take up the issue of the cops squabbling in public immediately. The governor has said that the manner of behavior of the cops is sending a wrong message to the people of this state. in fact uh, all this happened on monday when two girls complained against uh, adgpp ravindranath that he was utilizing his mobile phone to take obscene pictures of them i told that another customer then came and uh, apart from abusing him took away his wallet and his mobile now immediately the high ground police uh, were called in now uh, ravindranath was taken to the police station the police did not know who he was it was only when when, when he was in the station the police got to know about uh, who he is in fact a senior ips officer adgp in charge of the ksrp karnataka state reserve police he was then let go however after some time we are told that uh, a fir was filed a day a day later against p ravindranath we told that the home minister also had a meeting with him p ravindranath has uh, sent in his resignation this has not been accepted yet by the government Now we just heard what the home minister stated he said that the cid is looking into this and once they come out with the report then action will be taken meanwhile former chief minister jagdish shetter has reacted to the controversy stating that the chief minister must intervene on the matter and take necessary steps now speaking to media persons in belgavi shetter stated that the state of law and order in the state is pitiable and that the government is not taking any measures to correct the situation in fact slowly this is turning into a full blown political crisis with the opposition leaders first it was the governor and now the opposition leaders also coming in to lambast the government for actually not taking steps to control the situation the former chief minister jagdish shetter has reacted to the controversy stating that chief Minister Sidramaiah must intervene in this matter and take necessary steps. Now he stated that the state of law and order in the state is pitiable and that the government is not taking any measures to correct the situation.
Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled his top 10 policy priorities on Thursday, seeking to unblock an investment logjam and setting deadlines for action in order to revive the economy. Now, a top aide flagged the action points ahead of a cabinet meeting, wherein Modi will begin the task of meeting the aspirations of voters who handed his party, the BJP, the strongest electoral mandate in the past 30 years. In fact, these high agendas, the top 10, Number one was build up confidence in bureaucracy so that they do not fear to face consequences. Number two, innovative ideas will be welcomed and bureaucrats will be given freedom to work. Number three, education, health, water, energy and roads will be a priority. Next, transparency in government. E-auction will be promoted in tendering government works. Number five, system will be placed for inter-ministerial issues. Six, people-oriented system will be in place. Seven, addressing concerns relating to the economy. Number eight, focus on infrastructure, infrastructural and investment reforms. Number nine, implement policies in a time-bound manner. And finally, stability and sustainability in government policies. In fact, uh, just before this, uh, Urban Development Minister Venkai Naidu came out stating that Prime Minister Narendra Modi, while speaking or addressing the Council of Ministers, made three important points and he wants them all to look into this immediately. He says that they must focus on overall governance, efficiency, delivery and implementation. He's also asked the Council of Ministers, basically all the ministers, cabinet ministers, minister of state without independent charge and those also with independent charge to come out with a program for the first 100 days, come out with a timetable and also how will they go about implementing this. Now, uh, keeping in mind that uh, federalism is very important, he actually told the ministers to see to it that problems from states or whatever the states come out with to be looked into on a priority basis.